Tip number one. Tip number one that I have for you guys is making sure you're staying organized, okay? Very, very important, especially when you first make it into nursing school. Um, you're going to get a lot of information. You're going to go through orientation and they're going to throw so much information at you. You're going to get your syllabus, okay? So when you get your syllabus and you know when your lectures are going to be, when you know your exams are going to be, your clinicals are going to be, your sim labs are going to be, your open tutoring sessions, anything and everything that's going to have anything to do with nursing school, I am telling you right away, please make sure you guys start putting this into a calendar or a planner. So whether that's a physical planner that you physically have in front of you that you want to write everything down and color coordinate it according to like labs, lectures, clinicals, whatever works best for you. Or maybe you have an app online on your computer. I know a lot of people that use an app version for planners or calendars that work best for you. Like I said, whatever works. But make sure you're adding all of that stuff into your planner from day one, okay? Because you want to stay organized. You don't want to go far behind. You don't want to feel like you were... You, you were just told that you have an assignment due tomorrow and then you're like, well, shoot, I didn't know that. So please, when you get that syllabus, put it all into your planner or your calendar and organize it right from the bat. And then from there, you're going to kind of see what time you have left over. Because I know some of you nursing students, some of you guys are still going to be working and especially if you have families at home. I know a lot of times there are people are going to nursing as like a second or third career, you're married, you have kids at home. So it's even more imperative to make sure that you're organizing your time wisely because obviously you're still going to try to make time for family and all of that stuff. So make sure you're writing everything down so then you know exactly how much time you have left over um, if you're having to work or just for study periods, whatever you got going on. So that's my number one tip is to please make sure you are staying organized. Get yourself a planner, okay? Hey everyone, if you enjoyed watching that clip and you want to see the full video to it, make sure you guys click the box here. If you enjoy watching these kind of videos and you want to see more videos from the Nurse Kristen YouTube for pre-nursing, nursing student, new grad nurses, make sure you guys hit the subscribe button over here. 